How you doing, everybody? Merry Christmas. Hopefully, everybody had a nice Christmas Eve and a uh, very healthy Christmas Day. Uh, Sal Capano. I want to bring you up to date on a few things. So, if you're new to my channel, consider yourself coming on board. I keep it fun. We talk a little bit of cigars, lately a little bit of politics, but uh, today I'm just going to go over a few things. Um, and uh, if you've been subscribing to my channel, I want to say thank you very much. Um, I try to get some facts, people. Uh, keep it real. Talk a little cigars. Make you laugh a little bit. Mm. So I'm smoking a Camacho cigar. It's a little cold out tonight. Cold here in Vegas. What do you want from me? Maybe if you're in uh, New York, freezing your ass off, couldn't even be outside doing a video. Or Michigan, or Wisconsin, or Philly. All right, so I want to bring you up to date. Look, uh, hopefully you guys see my Christmas Eve video. A lot of work. It came out okay. I'm keeping it real. The, uh, my Italian seafood. I've, I've had better years where um, I put a little bit more effort into it. This didn't quite have all the seafood taste I had. But if you haven't watched my video, go back on Christmas Eve and take a look at it. You know. uh, so again, hopefully everybody had a nice Christmas. Remember people, one day at a time. So I'm going to bring you up to date a little bit on what's going on. Yes, if you're tuning into my video, it's a little different to everybody else's. They got their cliff boards out and their laptops out and their iPads out and all that. People, I'm going to cut through all, all, the, all the red tape here. So on my previous videos, I, I, I was hot. I was heated up. Uh, I'm not going to apologize. It's just how I feel. But uh, sometimes uh, even I don't see both sides. So here's the deal. There's three things that are going to happen with this. Uh, number one. In all likelihood, I'm just giving you the news. Don't get upset. All likelihood. Trump, as we know here, did not sign the $600 stimulus package because there's a lot of junk in it. And I got to I gotta be honest with you, and most people probably don't know this, I didn't know that our tax money that I've been working since I was 15 is going to Cambodian and, and Iraq. A lot of these countries don't even like us, okay? Why are we sending those money, right? And here we are just getting $600. That probably doesn't even give you groceries. I said in my previous video, you know, I kind of felt if we just knock this package out and send this out and hope that we can work on another stimulus package, it would have been better than nothing. At least the unemployment evictions, the unemployment stops tomorrow. So let me just give you some facts. I'm, I'll get into that and I'll, I'm going to try to answer some questions. A lot of you have been uh, shooting me out emails and comments and uh, it's easier if I just come over and make a video. Okay, so number one, this is just my, these are facts and I'll give you my opinion. Number one, um, on Monday, um, uh, tomorrow Sunday, but on Monday, uh, the, there's a standalone bill. The bill goes to the house and all likelihood will pass that uh, the house do not celebrate and drink your wine or champagne just because it passed the house it's still got to go to congress in all likelihood at that point i don't know what congress is going to do so but if they don't do the standalone bill and they continue with the um or, or if they do the standalone bill it has to go to congress and Let's stay with that first. Sorry. If it goes to Congress with the $2,000, I don't know how they're going to do it. you got to remember, there's seats in Georgia. There's two seats. This is really tricky here because they don't – the Republicans – I'm trying to be down the middle with these, okay, tonight. The Republicans don't want to lose those seats because they want to have the Senate. And in my opinion, whether you're Republican or Democrat, you don't want – all in one in the White House. Whether it's Republican, it's good to have a mix. So you have a Democrat House, you're going to have all likelihood a Democrat president, and I'm not going to get into all that right now. And then if the Senate wins the Georgia seat. So this is very tricky. So going back to it, if it goes to the Senate, I don't know what's going to happen. Now remember on January 3rd or January 6th, new Senates come in. So it's just because it passes the House tomorrow at 2,000. Oh, so, yes, it's just, we're, we're going to get to 2,000. No. So we don't know. Nobody really has a crystal ball on what's going on in their heads. Okay. I know they don't want to shut down because it makes them look bad. So, and, oh, so I don't think you're going to have a, that's the tricky thing. They don't want to shut down. So let's say 
scenario number one. Let's say the House passes, which they probably will, the 2000 I'm referring to, and then it goes to, this, uh, to the Senate. Let's say it does pass. Then it goes back to Trump's desk. In all likelihood, he gets what he wanted and what he wanted from day one, and then the 2000 will pass, and then within 48 hours, um, um, you know, within 48 hours, well, he'll sign it, and uh, after he digests it and making sure that some of this stuff comes out of the bill. Um, so that would be the easiest thing, right? But you know how this has been for the last nine months. Nothing's been easy with both parties. It's all politicians. So that would be the easiest thing. Number two. Sorry, this is a good cigar. Number two. Uh, all right, so let's say it goes to the House. They, they, they agree with Trump to 2000 and then the Senate for some reason says no we're not gonna um, we're not gonna do it um, I know Lindsey Graham who's with Trump uh, in Florida playing golf on Christmas and I didn't mean that in a smart way they were going back and forth and he's for it Lindsey Graham who got voted back in so I don't know on how these senators so let's say they say no and I'm gonna give you my opinion in a second so if they say no so now you got House that says yes. As soon as Senate says no, it's dead. It's dead right there. Okay, so it's dead right on arrival. So it's like it never even happened. So now one day goes by, you got Tuesday. Now Tuesday, a couple things can happen on Tuesday of next week. So now Tuesday, uh, more Senate comes back. Now on Tuesday, the Democrats can say, okay, let's go back to the original 600 because in their eyes well we got unemployment that's 300 dollars for 11 or 12 weeks you have evictions that people are going to start getting you know evicted and landlords and 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 ppp money and all that stuff right so um if that's another likelihood and then it goes to the senate and then they let's say well yeah that's what we want uh, you know we we worked hard on this yeah they worked hard and now it goes back to trump's desk now let's say at that point we know a Trump's not going to sign because it would make him think about it. All of us, 98 percent of us. Why would he sign right back to square one? He's going to say, you know, no. Right. It, it would be contradicting himself. So he would definitely say no. So what happens now? So now it becomes a pocket veto. It's basically nothing. So that would be bad because now that is a time thing. That's where it can go into the next Senate seats, the next people that are coming in the Senate, and now this pretty much that's this this 900 um, this bill for you know um, that they're trying to keep under the trillion dollars. Okay, would probably just go away. So now it's gone. So now, not in all likelihood, it would be the next administration in January 20th for another bill to even be talked about and presented. So that's the three things. A pocket veto is pretty much like nothing's being done. Trump will pocket veto. So um, those are the three things that can happen. Now, I'm going to answer some of your questions and I'll give you my opinion. So one question from, uh, from uh, I, I won't use names. How's that? We'll just go with one. Right, so he was asking me about child support. Uh, first of all, we don't, we don't know if we have, a, but if we do, no, the answer to that is no. They cannot touch your child support. So if you're in the arrears with child support, they cannot touch it. Okay, um, the, the money would go to you. Okay. Uh, the other question was okay. So the question was from okay. This question was from Florida. We'll just use the state. So we'll so we'll sell. What happens with um, my uh, back taxes that I owe? No, they can't touch your back taxes. All right. And th this is only if we're gonna, if we get a stimulus package. All right. If you're in prison, no, they cannot touch you. If you're in prison, you'll you'll get the stimulus package, okay? The 600 or 2,000, whatever we get. So no, they can't touch you, okay? Uh, what was another question here? So these are some of the questions that were asked. Um, an another question is, if there if there's a government shutdown, would that affect my unemployment that I'm receiving now? Remember, we got one more week of uh, PUA. Um, if you're on unemployment state, no. That if a shutdown would not affect your very good question, the shutdown would not effect, uh, affect your unemployment. It's a state unemployment. Very good question. So you would still be entitled to your unemployment. Hopefully, I clarify that. Um, 
extension. So a question was from, uh, this question is from, okay, good. Queens, New York, Queens, New York. So the question was, um, so is it retro pay unemployment, PP, uh, PUA, excuse me, and unemployment? Uh, no, unfortunately it's not retro pay. However, let's say this goes on for two more weeks. They would go back to December 26, which was the last that they, they, they you know, which, which started in most states in March. They would retro pay, let's say this all got done on January 7th, just throwing the date out there, they would go back to December 27th and they would go back to that date in retro pay, but not back to when the LWA was over a lost wage assistance. Hopefully I made sense. So they would go back to the date of the last week of the unemployment, which would be the 27th, okay? Um, I say, well, that was a very good question. Um, okay, so the question was why, if they add the, um, if they just make it $2,000, um, you know, um, we're just going to, um, it's going to be inflation. Yes. It, 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 we, if it's too, that was the whole thing where the Republicans, mostly the Republicans didn't want to be too high on it and become like socialism. So yes, they can continue to print out money, but I'm going to get to you my thoughts in a second. Yes, it can cause a little inflation and, you know, our, as they, people say, um, our kids pay for it later. Okay, we'll get to my opinions in a minute. Okay, so let's see here. One more I'll shoot out here. Um, can this thing just get thrown out? Yes, I just went over that. So um, if it's a, a pocket veto or basically nothing, it would just evaporate like nothing. Forget about it, okay? So, all right, now I'm going to give you my thoughts. It, you know, it depends what situation you're in. There's a lot of people that are not unemployed that $2,000 would be a nice check, certainly better than $600. You know, $600 if you're renting an apartment in Queens or New York or is nothing, but it's better than nothing. So, um, yes, I mean, it depends. What what I think they should have done, and I said this in my previous videos, they should. It was two separate bills, but they kind of put it together. What they should have done is got on the, um, in my opinion, most important was people that are going to get thrown out of their apartments that are late because again, this was a virus, a very bad virus, was nobody's fault. So now these people, so they should have had um, separated the bill, the unemployment um, and the uh, evictions. On a separate bill is what they should have done but they didn't do it because they don't think that way and uh this way we wouldn't have this big dilemma right now and uh then they could have worked on the amounts and negotiated with that and had some time but they didn't do that um oh there was another question about do um does nancy pelosi and these senators get a stimulus package uh no but what they do get let's say a senator out there has a business in uh florida for an example we don't know if it's, fam it's under our family's name, under Uncle Vinny's name, or Uncle Sal's name, or something like that. It would take forever to figure that out. So as far as the PPP money, yes, I believe that some of these senators are actually getting some of this money. Absolutely. But, you know, it's dirty. And I'm learning more and more. Like, I, and, and, and far as that page, all these pages, there's nobody. You, we, they still have to be started. There's no way they read that in two hours. Well, Sal, did they read that in two hours? No. You would still be reading. You're talking 5,000 pages. It would take forever. But uh, it was set up that everybody had a piece and read it. They just wanted to get this done. To com they, this way, it was an easiest thing to do to, to keep, you know, the debt ratio and going into inflation down the road and also save their ass and their seats or and, and, you know and hopefully they didn't get shut down um you gotta remember president trump whether you like him or not he wanted this from the get-go i have my thoughts i think he waited to the last minute i don't think he should have just my opinion i think he should have jumped on it faster but you know it, it's not easy so you can't make so there's people out there that are not getting uh um, PUA unemployment or unemployment so you know it's a slap in the face if you're only getting 600 so you know I'm speaking the truth here but then on the flip side there's people that are getting unemployment and $300 additional to your state unemployment on an average uh, 
like I said before, just for an example, in Nevada, the average at minimum is 180, so three to 180 is 480 hours a week for 11 or 12 weeks. What you know, kind of keep everybody above water until this vaccine uh, is 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 it's already out. But as it gets into you know, it's it's already first responders and doctors and nurses and eventually uh, nursing homes included and then people over 70 and drop down eventually we're all going to see it bring stability and this is just my opinion people don't get upset at me and then i think everything starts calming down things start opening up on a state and then um so it, it's a very hard thing that's why they should have kept it you know separated but they didn't do it um a question is if it's two thousand dollars another question um if they keep it $2,000, or if they do go to $2,000, like I said, all the possibilities, they can actually take a lot of this stuff out, you know, all this fucking money to these other country and say, hey, sorry for my language, but fuck you. Uh, we'll pay on a rebound and give it to the American people. Um, you know what I mean? So, but they have to take that out. And even by taking that out, you're still going to have to increase it, you know, probably an, another couple billion dollars to get it up to two thousand um, dollars. You know, there's another possibility too that I didn't throw in, and I don't hear anybody else talking about. There's a possibility we just get, you know, where we had before, which is the twelve hundred dollars, keeping the unemployment the same, and um, you know, evictions and PPP money and all that too. So that's another possibility. That is a very likelihood that that could happen too. But again, that means taking stuff out, putting some stuff in, a budget, it goes on. So, you know, this thing can take two, three, four weeks. That's why I was trying, try, I was probably the few who said, just go ahead and do this. And then they work on another one, you know, another stimulus bill after. You know, I don't want our kids to have to pay for this and just keep you know sending money out but people we got to remember our backs are against the, you know the door here this is a you know a very very bad situation it's it's we do something now you know um i'm not saying that we start handing out money every couple months but something should have been done a couple months ago and we got to do something now because there's going to be It'll be very bad if this can go goes on any longer because there's going to be a lot of homeless people out there because they're the state laws are going to be, people are going to be out in the street. So um, and there's also you know money in there for food assistance for people and stuff like that. Um, so you know it, it's, it's it's our backs against the wall and I, I in my opinion we need the money right now. Um, amount on it, you know we certainly. Most people, 600 is not enough, you know, but how high do you go? You don't want to go too, too high with this because now you do have, you could cause inflation and we have a lot more other problems. Remember, if you drive a car, you pay taxes. If you work, you pay taxes. So this is our fucking money. So this is our money taxpayers money but our tax money our tax paying money is going to all these third world countries so we're entitled to this this is a, a, hopefully we won't see this in our lifetime another pandemic but this was a very bad situation and i feel that you know we need this you know there's even if everything let's just say the vaccine and everything was better in two months it's not going to be a rush to everybody's businesses not, not everything's going to be 100 percent capacity that quick it's going to take Again, I don't have a crystal ball, but it's going to take some time. So, um, hopefully, I, 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 I'm, you know, uh, hopefully, I clarify some things that you probably, if you listen to these cha other channels, they're making it very, very complicated. But this, this is exactly. I, I don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to be in Donald Trump's head. We don't know. I can tell you, he's not going to sign it because remember, he's not going to sign it. It would make him look bad. So for the six hundred dollars, he's not going to sign that. There's a possibility of a pocket veto, which he just steps away. But there is a possibility that somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,200, I don't want to start rumors to say it's 1200 but you know how they are. The Senate and Democrats, it's, you know, it's a big game. All of a sudden now that, you know, the Democrats are in love with Trump. You know, again, it, it comes down to those two Senate seats in Georgia. I don't want to make it too complicated to you. Just, you know, 
um, a lot involved with that. Um, I'm ho hopefully I made this a little easier for you. I'm gonna finish up some wine. I normally come in here and talk about cigars, but I want to know you. A lot of people are confused, and a lot of people are worried, uh, and, I, and I, I can understand that. Um, it's some rough times, but remember, tomorrow is another day. Say hello to somebody. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please share the video. Hit the like button. Leave your comments below. I'll read your comments. And uh, call your, oh, you know, there's assistance out there too. There's uh, call your local state, call your governor, call, call the, chief, uh, the secretary, leave a message, blow their phones up. We pay for their salaries that are making $200,000 and more a year. So people speak up. And if you don't want to speak up, leave me your information, you know, leave me your um leaving your first name uh, explaining to me how I can get back to you I'll do the best I can um, it, it, you speak up uh, the people out there still haven't gotten their um, an appointment after since March I know there's a lot of fraud watch my other videos I explain to you on a lot of it that actually happened to my wife on my previous videos I'm not gonna get into it right now but speak up um, go on the websites there's a lot of grants out there um, there's a lot of rental assistance um, 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 and, and there's certain things there that you can apply for so remember this was a pandemic this wasn't anybody's fault nobody choose to slow down so don't feel bad there's food assistance out there um, but contact your you know um, if you feel you got to let these people know on how you fucking feel and um, we vote them in whether you vote one side or the other they're voted in so you know, don't be shy and let them hear your voice. Everybody have a beautiful Saturday night and God bless everybody. I'm trying to do the best I can. It's a lot of research. Um, I enjoy doing it. And again, leave your comments. Um, I have a little bit of contact with Senator Cortez here um, and she doesn't mind um, speaking to so many people in her office um, with NOAA. Um, I also know some other people that are connected in there so um some bad times but let's stay focused i think something's going to happen it might be the 600 it might be 1200 it might be 2000 but again tomorrow don't get excited because the house is oh 2000 so tune into my video as soon as i have more updates and more stuff that i i'll i'll, uh, I'll let everybody know so i'm going to finish my camacho take care